us with PTO on Bring Your Child to Work Day. I'm your junior co-host, Kate. And I'm Claire. We're back with Henry from the zoo with more animals to show us. And so what do we have, Henry? This is a chinchilla. And actually it has uh, second most hairs per square inch of any animal. On our trip around the zoo, if you were to go around, and this is an education animal, this is an animal you'll find in the Andes Mountains in South America. So it has a nice, thick, warm coat because they live up in the mountains. Um, all the kids want to cuddle with him. They do. <laughs> well, everybody can have a chance to, to pet him. You got, have a question? Yes. What do they eat? Now, these guys are herbivores, and so they'll eat sedges and grasses that will grow, and sometimes little nutlets that grow on the sedges. Uh, so primarily, they're her herbivores, live in the burrows during the day, and then at night you can see those large eyes that allows them to see. And the whiskers, you can see how large they are. Mm -hmm. They serve as uh, a way of feeling their way through a burrow. So they'll you know, touch on a wall on the left side or move to the right, and so he uses it as a, as a way of sensing his environment in, in, when he's inside a burrow. Do you guys have any questions in the back, back here? Okay, here, let's get the mic right. Um, I don't, I don't know if this is true, but is it true that um, seals have a million hairs per square inch? The um, sea otters. Oh, yeah. sea so otters. the sea otter is the only other animal, that, it's the only animal that has more hairs per square inch than the chinchilla. And unfortunately, these guys were hunted and captured, mm. uh, trapped for uh, their fur and made into coats. It's a beautiful coat, but looks much better on a chinchilla, don't you think? Yeah. 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 And you said they're endangered. They're endangered in the wild because of the over-harvesting. They aren't uh, common enough in a pet trade. People do have them. I got a call once from somebody who described this animal exactly, and they were out in the South Hill somewhere, and they bought a house, and the garage apparently had chinchillas living in <gasps> the wow. previous. And Lucky. when I identified the animal, Lucky. well, I don't know about <laughs> He, he was, uh, what his call, he said he wasn't sure what it was. He described what sounded like a chinchilla. And, and when I said the name, he goes, the neighbor said that the, the, the former owner had chinchillas, and apparently they bred and were living in his garage. Oh, crotch. man. That so. lucky homeowner, right? Mm -hmm. Where's that Very house? Can, lucky. Can we have a couple of them come around to pet him? Would sure, that be absolutely. okay? Kate, you want to hold and take it around for everybody? Oh, oh, you lucky. Can you I? Can, you I have to take it around to all the kids. They oh. won't how soft and sweet. And how many chinchillas do you have at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium? Uh, three or four, I three guess. Four. And they're all actually part of our education program. So they go out to the schools, as mm -hmm. I talked about earlier. If you want to sign up and have your, you know, talk to your teacher, talk to your school administrator about setting out a, up a program. If you really want to see the chinchilla, you can request that animal. Okay, and while he's getting his uh, little run for his money up back there with the kids, you guys have another pet too? Another, not a pet, we an do. animal? And <laughs> I guess it could be a pet. This one, not right? as soft and no hairs <laughs> per square inch. It's a reptile. It is, you know what it is? Turtle. It's a turtle, exactly. It's a box turtle. And they're called a box turtle because when they get nervous, they're one of the few that can actually have a hinge back here mm -hmm. and they can pull their head and their feet back in and close off entirely. And this hard shell serves as protection from an animal that might try to eat them. Um, you know, coyotes around here will actually try to get them. And if you look around now, this is the time of year they come out. They, they hibernate underground here in Pennsylvania, well, everywhere. But uh, about this time of year, they'll start to come out and start to, to forage. So you might start to see them out in, in the, the woods now. Any Let's... questions from the back? Yeah, some pass them around. Okay, well, Henry, like. let me, Just don't drop them. I, yeah, don't drop them. Henry, let me ask, when did you want to, when did you know that you wanted to get into zoology? I don't well, know what's the appropriate. I always liked animals. I liked Hi. nature. I liked exploring in the woods. They like and, kisses? In high school, I sort of came to that conclusion. Actually, my senior year of high school, I decided, you know, I really wanted to work with animals. You know, it's, it's a job that um, you can love. The zoo is a great place to work. Um, Everybody who's had a pet at home knows what it's like to have that kind of relationship. We get to have it with a lot of animals. Yeah. And so we have a lot of animals that we love, and um, it's, it's a rewarding experience to be able to work uh, with something you enjoy. So what kind of events do you guys have coming up at the zoo? You guys all love going to the zoo, right, with your families yeah. and with your schools? What, what kind of events do you have coming up? Well, the up? day before Mother's Day, we actually have a Mother's Day brunch, and it's a good way to come out, and we bring out animals there as well and talk a little bit about those animals. And we also have uh, Mother's Day, as you mentioned, where if you bring, come out with your kids, mothers get in free. Uh, not for these guys, but for adults. <laughs> we have Zoo Brew next, this Friday and, uh, next Friday, and um, I'll be working, and so... Stop and say hello if you see me. Whenever I'm at the zoo, I feel like I'm at my house. 
Do you have a lot of pets? Uh, no, my kids. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's like a zoo at my house, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and where would we find these animals at the zoo? Now, these are all education animals. Okay. We brought animals that are used to being handled by staff and, and you know, contacting kids. It's hard to bring a tiger or an elephant to the studio. Um, but, you know. Would have uh, been pretty cool, right? We do have our baby tigers going out on exhibits. And when so is that? They are uh, putting them out now just for routinely just like an hour, just to get them used to um, growing pretty quickly. Our male's about 80, 85 pounds and the female's about 15 pounds less. So it's an opportunity to see some cute, well, they're getting bigger. And they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Oh. Well, do you guys have any questions for Henry? You have the mic. You have a question? Where was it found? This, this animal they got from another zoo or another uh, institution. You have a question? Want to pass the mic over here? Sure. Is it a female or a male? It is a female. Good question. That is a good question. It's not question. always easy to tell, and on this species, it, it isn't very easy. But some tortoises uh, will have an indentation on the male. To, like a female will be flat, and a male will have an indentation. So on this one, it's not as easy to tell. How old is she? That I don't know. But tortoises and turtles can live a long time. Well, you know, I went to Australia with Steve Irwin. I stayed at his place, and I got to feed a, uh, a turtle, a, a tortoise that was picked up by Charles Darwin in 1835. Whoa. It has since passed, but it was 170 some years old. They probably lived 75 years. Okay. Did you have a question? Which one would win, a turtle or a tortoise in a race? Oh, good well, question. you know, that, that term tortoise <laughs> and turtle are sometimes confusing. There is not a hard, <laughs> but I'm going to go with a tortoise because it beat the, the hair. <laughs> that is adorable. Okay. Do you want to read the tease for us now? Thanks to the Pittsburgh Zoo for being our guest today. The zoo is open every day from 9 till 5. You can visit them to see all the animals there. Good job. Up next.